Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play a Malphite top lane in Season 11, guys. We are also going to be watching a very specific player. This, this guy is a Korean challenger player. He has about 1,022 LP right now. And he's using Malphite as his backup champion in some of his games. And he's completely destroying solo queue with Malphite, guys. So with that being said... We're going to be watching this guy today, and I'm going to be teaching you guys a lot about Malphite as well. So with that being said, let's get started. Now for the runes that you want to pick up for Malphite in Season 11, guys, uh, we have the main keystone, which is Grasp. Uh, you want to take Shield Bash. You can also take Demolish, like, but Malphite also, like, always has the shield. Um, we also have Conditioning, which is also pretty good. And we also have Unflinching. We also have Biscuit Delivery with Time Warp Tonic with Attack Speed and 2 points in Armor. Honestly, with Shield Bash, I would actually recommend going Demolish. But this guy is actually going Shield Bash, which is also pretty interesting. Uh, kind of situational. Anyways, guys. Uh, for the um, ability set that he's maxing out, he's always maxing his Q first, then his W, and then E as the last. He's also taking Corrupting Potion as his starter item. And this is really good with Malphite because it allows you to like uh, max your Q, uh, have like some kind of mana uh, region, and also like, you know, just being able to spam it. Also really, just really good sustain in general. Also with, with the Biscuits, which gives you like more permanent mana. Now, finally, last thing, guys, for the full build of Malphite, I'm going to leave the entire full build inside of the description below. So with that being said, let's actually get down to the lane. All right, so he's currently in the Aatrox matchup, which is actually looking kind of an interesting matchup here. Um, depending on the matchup that you are going to be facing with Malphite, you might want to, like, play aggressive or defensive. Now, this matchup specifically... Uh, this matchup is actually kind of favored depending on like what runes they are using. Uh, in this case, Malphite is playing with Grasp, which is actually pretty aggressive. He's also like playing with the Corrupting Potion with maxing his Q. So the best way how Malphite could possibly play this matchup is by constantly like pushing down the lane, constantly like spamming his Q, like constantly applying pressure in the lane. By spamming his Q and pushing down the lane. Look at the way how he's abusing the damage of Malphite. Constantly pressing that Aatrox. He can't even breathe properly in this lane right now. He can barely not do anything at all. And this is what makes Malphite so great. Now of course guys. Uh, while he does have this playstyle. You really want to keep in mind. That you actually track down the enemy jungler. Uh, very well because uh, Malphite doesn't really have escaping ability that could help him save himself when he gets ganked. So keep that in mind. Like, unless you get level 6, of course. But Look at that. Look at the damage coming from Malphite. So a couple things to note. You want to, like, ward up the river properly when having this kind of play style. Uh, you want to be constantly looking at the map to see wherever the enemy jungler is going to come from. Um, this way, you're going to ensure that you're not getting into a 1v2. Aatrox is about to back to base very soon. Malphite can back to base with this as well. He doesn't really have any mana currently. Both TPing at the same time. Malphite is being forced to teleport because of the creeps. Also, Shen is currently topside. He's just showing up in the river. The first item he got is the Brambles Fest. Now, one thing to keep in mind, guys, with Malphite in general, certain matchups uh, will eventually, like, outscale Malphite just for the first part of the game. Keep in mind that Malphite is actually a great champion after he hits level 6. Uh, so in the pre-6, you want to be really careful with matchups like Aatrox when he hits like multiple uh, Qs. Uh, it could damage you a lot. In this situation, guys, Malphite has to be very careful now because the wave is currently getting pushed towards him. You want to keep in mind that if you are, if the enemy, if the enemy opponent has more creeps on his side, 
also means that he gets to win the 1v1s most of the time because the creeps do like a lot of damage early. The wave is now being pushed in towards Aatrox again, which leaves Malphi with the creep advantage. Look how he's like sidestepping Aatrox's Qs, constantly spamming his Q with his W as well. Literally forcing Aatrox in a bad position. He's using the Corrupting Potion like pretty much all of them to regain his mana a little bit. While also dealing some extra damage through his like through everything. Now he can put the lane into like a slow push. This is interesting. Aatrox is going for the all in against Malphite. This is pretty much the weakest point uh weakest point of Malphite. Now, if Malphite regains just a little bit of mana now, he could have technically done like an all-in on Malphite, but he's currently running low on mana, so he can't do that anymore. Like, the further this game goes right now, the better it will be for Malphite. Because beyond this point, he just got level 6 right now. As soon as he gets the first item, he becomes literally unstoppable. Needle is currently on top side. Malphite has his ultimate ready right now. Keep in mind, guys, Malphite is an excellent champion at setting up the lane for a game. Besides playing really aggressive in the lane, using that to your advantage, also keep in mind that if you are in a really bad matchup in general, or you're running pretty low on mana or anything like that, you can also set up the lane for a gank so that your Jonah can literally just come in and you can press your ultimate and then pretty get a kill really easy, guys. Keep that in mind. Malphite is one of the best champions in the game in terms of setting up lane for ganks. Now, he currently bought the Brambles fast. He also got the plated steel caps now. And this is pr this is very important because having more movement speed allows you to sidestep Aatrox Q's a lot more easy. While also having armor, which will help with the laning phase as well. This also allows for uh, roaming as well as TPing when, when needed. Now I can get back into lane. He can, like force the wave to be uh to to force it back into Aatrox again soon he can like um build up the wave for it <clears throat> the wave is now going to get pushed into Aatrox if uh if he if he oh actually look at how Malphite is sidestepping Aatrox's Q's while still like aggressively going in there right this is exactly like how you want to play Malphite, in, in, especially in matchups like this one. You want to use the movement speed from Malphite's Q to your advantage by using it and then getting the, uh, gaining the extra movement speed. Si being able to like sidestep Aatrox completely. His ultimate is coming back in about uh, 7 seconds right now. He could easily go in right now. Sidestepping that, using his uh, boots. Now ulting directly in there and getting the kill on Aatrox, guys. This is pretty much, by far, the most aggressive playstyle that you can possibly have with Malphite, guys. Maxing out the Q for the extra movement speed while also building up uh, plated steel caps with the Brambles fast. Completely solo killing an Aatrox top. He's now buying two Ruby Crystals as well. He will eventually get these Soundfire Rages at some point. Just quickly speeding up right here as there's nothing happening. There we go. So the, so the wave is currently pushing back into Malphite. Uh, he can pretty much do like the same trading on repeat. 
Aatrox does not really do that much damage anymore, so the only thing left to do from Malphite now is to reset this wave and get more creeps on his end. Malphite can trade Aatrox really easy as long as he has the creep advantage. Aatrox just went down by Nidalee and Leona, so he can get to push this way for free right now. He can get, he can definitely get like a few platings for free now. He can at least get like two platings right now, possibly even three, depending on uh, if uh, if Aatrox TPs or not. Aatrox is using the TP now. Unfortunately, though, he does not get the the second plating, but. He's extremely far ahead right now. You see, Aatrox Qs, they, they don't even do any damage anymore beyond this point. He's going too huge right now. Malphi with um, Corrupting Potion. With... Um, Honestly, like, having the Corrupting Potion with with Time Warp Tonic on Malphite is honestly so broken if you're maxing Q, because you can constantly, like, regain the mana. He does not have the mana that it takes right now in order to take them down. He was actually going to kill that Aatrox right here, until Shen has actually, like, um... Oh, wow. Until Shen actually TP'd down there. Still gets a kill, though. Honestly, guys, that was really well played by Malphite right there, except, like, Shen uh, ulted directly into Aatrox, so he couldn't do much more. He has to TP right here, because the wave is currently, like, getting pushed down into Aatrox. If he would not TP at this point, he would actually be losing, like, an entire wave uh, by the time he get back to lane, so... This TP was very important, because it would make him fall behind pretty hard if he doesn't get it. He can just continue like push down his wave right now. He already has the uh, the Bami Cinder with the Warden's Mail. Like Aatrox pretty much like his damage is now just completely not fight. He doesn't really do any damage anymore. Malphite can keep pushing this lane consistently like all the time right now. Aatrox does not get a proper chance to breathe anymore in this lane. Going for like another short trade with Malphite, using his abilities, then backing off after because the abilities are on cooldown. The ultimate of Malphite is coming in about 10 seconds. Once he gets that, it's going to be pretty easy for him. Shen is not really an issue anymore. Needly and Leon are also on the way, so he can just uh, stall this out a little bit. Now he can he can definitely push this one and then dive that Shen on the turret. Takes down the entire wave. He can uh, he can just finish up the entire turret right now uh, to get over the team. By the time that Aatrox gets back, he will probably have the entire uh, entire turret now. Aatrox is back in the lane. Malphite could stay for another wave, except it would be. Um, if he were to go back right now, he would be losing like an entire wave. So it's kind of difficult to go back to base here. If he would go back to base now and lose the entire wave, he's going to fall behind again. And you don't, you definitely don't want that at this stage. You want to keep the lead. You see guys, even if Malphite does not backport for uh, to finish off his item, he's so tanky that he can be stopped by Aatrox. <clears throat> If he pushes down this wave right now, he will get the Sunfire Ages. Needly, Leona, and the other guy is also like coming top now to dive the Aatrox. He will get a free ultimate off. Honestly, like Malphite doesn't even have to use his ultimate because that guy was guaranteed to be dead anyway.
Now I get back to base. He can get these some fire ages now. Gets ages of the legion. Still does not have the um, the sunfire ages yet because of building all the uh, components. Now Morphite's teleport is currently on cooldown, so he does. You don't want to stay on the side lanes for too long if your TP is on cooldown. You mainly want to play around your teammates once the TP is um, on cooldown. Make sure uh, that if it is on cooldown that you don't accidentally like split the side lanes when your team needs you. He's roaming to mid lane, catching literally everybody with the broken Malphite build right now. So you see guys, Sunfire Ages on Malphite is actually so broken, he can't really be stopped. This is pretty much why, why Malphite has such a massive win rate right now. Because once he gets those items, he, he can't be stopped anymore. His TP is currently on a 75 second cooldown, so he could go top right now. Gets the Sunfire Ages while also getting the Glacial uh, Buckler. Now the Dragon is spawning with, within about less than 50 seconds, right? The TP of Malphite is about 55 seconds right now. So he can actually move to top lane right now. He can force that Aatrox to stay as well. And as soon as a teamfight appears at the dragon, he can TP to it as well. And this is why it's so good to like go top lane right now, clearing everything out here. He knows that they are taking the uh, the hero here. Oh, flashing the Leon ultimate. Mofi just needs to wait for the right moment to engage now for the team. <clears throat> he just takes no damage at all. Takes down Yon instantly with the ultimate, guys. Always make sure to actually land your ultimate on a carry champion like Yon. Don't just randomly pressure ultimate on a few targets into the team fight, but rather like try to like hit your land your ultimate onto uh, a, a carry champ like Yon that can, that that does like a lot of damage, but it's very weak to like all ends. Make sure to get them down first. Same thing with AD carries, AP carries, all those champions. You want to use your ultimate on them so you can take them down instantly. Don't use your ultimate on another tank. That's bad. Now he's got the Soundfire Ages, he also bought the Frozen Heart, which makes it even more tanky while still having the Brambles Fest. Using his Teleport to go back into the Dragon, guys. Cleaning up all of these guys here as well. Takes down that Shun. And Aatrox as well. You see guys, he was able to back to base because his TP was still up. He can push down one more wave and then rotate back to the dragon if Nidalee hasn't taken it yet. He could also go back top lane, farm out everything there as well since there isn't really anything to do on the map right now. Lucian is farming bot lane. Nidalee, I mean, I mean, mid lane is completely missing out. Um, even the wave in top lane is getting pushed in right now, so there isn't really anything to do right now besides taking a few jungle camps, and these are already being taken by the AD carry as well. He can just reset it here, walk down to mid. His ultimate's currently up, so the only thing left to do in this game now is having the team to like group up, push mid. And let Malphite engage. The TP is on cooldown, so Malphite is not really able to like split that much. But since there isn't really anything else to do around the map right now, Malphite can go bot lane and at least take like one wave. As soon as the team starts grouping up around Baron, like Malphite has to go there. He has to like walk up there.
taken down that Aatrox has. Look at that. It doesn't even need ultimate. Takes down that guy. He can just push up the next wave now and then rotate towards Baron. Either like... Um, this is pretty good because Malphi soul has mentioned solar kill and aatrox this leaves him being able to like push down the entire bot lane and he can also rotate towards mid now trying to get a catch on them as well look at that they do, don't even do any damage on them flashing out of there gets a flash on the pan scene at least If he goes back to base now, uh, he, he will be able to get the door now. Keep in mind that they actually have like a full AD team. They have an Aatrox top lane while having a Shen in the jungle. While also having Yon mid with an Ezreal AD carry with Pantheon support. They're pretty much like a 99% like full AD team. And this is why like Malphite works so well as well. Because Malphite can just literally just build like full armor having sunfire with frozen heart with plate steel caps but Bremble's fast while well, chains fast having all of these items the enemy team can't honestly not even kill Malphite anymore he could just walk them down right now it doesn't really matter how Malphite plays it out as long as his existence is within the team fights it's going to be a hard win the only thing left to do is actually hitting like landing the ultimate of Malphite onto a carry champion Nearly takes down a Malphite by his own, but Malphite's able to like tank everything. Red team double kill. Red team double kill. <clears throat> that was very interesting because I think Ezra's only level 12, I believe. Uh, let me check to ensure. Oh, I can't see it yet because he's dead so far. This is going to be a free Baron now as well. You see guys, the way how Malphite plays it out is clean. The way how his macro, get, like macro wise, the decision making of this multiplayer is excellent. Like the way how he plays is just very smooth. He barely like makes a single mistake through the entire game. Uh, this is why like he applies like so much pressure around the game because besides having really good team fighting, being able to participate in most of the team fights, Malphite is always. Split pushing the side lanes, killing Aatrox, constantly like moving down to the team fights, landing ultimates onto their carries. Like he barely gives the enemy team the time to even breathe at all during this game. And this is exactly the way how you want to play like Malphite in, in, in these type of games. This is exactly like the kind of playstyle that you want. He also makes it look like really, really, really easy. Uh, this is all, like mainly if you play Malphite really good, he's also in a pretty insane meta right now. Uh, he has one of the highest win rates of the entire game. So if you combine that with like a really good gameplay, like you, you become literally unstoppable with this champion right now. <clears throat> he can actually split this uh, against that Yone. He can't really do any damage. He's buffing up the creeps. The enemy team is currently missing though, so it's kind of like risky to actually walk up down there without really having any kind of vision. The dragon, um, they're like grouping all around the dragon right now. There's going to be a final fight where Malphite is going to be able to TP in. He's currently buffing up top lane with the Baron creeps. He's about to TP mid now and about to finish everything off. Excellent macro, uh, excellent, perfect macro gameplay here by Malphite. This is exactly how you want to play this champion. Now takes down mid lane as well, getting the, uh, getting all the turrets and nips. After taking down these two, honestly, I think that, the, I think that the team can just continue to, like push mid. Uh, they're still dead for about 15 seconds. I think they could honestly even end here. Malphite barely even takes any damage right now. 
Look at how long he's tanking the charge for. Yeah, this is going to be a win right here. <laughs> he just doesn't take any damage anymore. Anyways, guys, this is pretty much how you play Malphite. You know, top lane, season 11. Pretty OP. I'm gonna, once again, I'm going to leave down the entire full book inside the description below. So, anyways, with that being said, thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys actually want to see, like, challenging games from me, I'm streaming, like, six times a week myself. So, don't forget to check that out, guys. Link inside the description. But, anyway, thank you for watching today. And I will catch you guys up in the next one. Peace.